What is a policy paper? Policy papers present an analysis of a very specific topic based upon research, evidence, and facts. This can include things like interviews with stakeholders, recently published data or laws, or new issues debated at the parliament. Policy papers are written in clear and neutral language with a specific technical objective in mind, such as policy change, raising awareness, or mobilizing some social groups. Policy papers present a diagnosis of a problem and provide policy recommendations for addressing that problem. This can include using comparative lessons or policy alternatives that have been used elsewhere. Policy papers seek to influence policies and decisions in order to contribute to better outcomes, making scientific research accessible and useful. This can also include the publication and dissemination of fact-based information for the average citizen through articles, briefs, podcasts, or radio programs. What are the parts of a policy paper? Policy papers have three parts. The lead, naming and framing the problem. The body of the paper, facts, data, testimonies. And the policy recommendations, alternatives, public consultation to rectify policy plans or policy implementation, comparative experiences. Let's look at each part. The lead goes straight to the core of the problem and summarizes the recommendations. The lead has to be short and concise. The lead has to go straight to the core of the problem. Clear, the language used has to be crystal clear. Compelling and assertive. The lead has to captivate the reader's attention. The body of the paper provides the evidence to back up what was stated in the lead. The evidence is provided by facts, data, and analysis. Facts and data are at the basis of the analysis. If the underlying facts and data are wrong, the analysis is worthless. The body of the paper should be written in a way that makes the argument as convincing as possible. The policy recommendations should be practical, actionable, and politically feasible. This means that the recommendations should make explicit the who, what, and why. Who should do what and why. This means that the recommendations can be realistically implemented and that the course of action is spelled out clearly. To whom do we address the paper? There can be different audiences depending on the issue and the country you are in. Audiences can include policymakers, which includes people in various levels of government as well as their advisors, international and national organizations, activists, and members of social movements interested in the topic, other researchers working on the policy, and the public likely to be impacted by the policy. So you want to write a policy paper. Now what? Before starting to write, ask yourself three questions. What is the policy problem I want to address? The problem or issue addressed must be narrow, clearly defined, and relevant. Which audience am I trying to influence? Is your paper targeting non-governmental organizations, decision makers, the press, an informed public, or an academic audience? Knowing the target audience helps you decide how to present the content of the paper and what information to include. The issues addressed in policy papers are dependent on the targeted audience. Do I have enough facts and data to address the issue? You should have a minimum of knowledge, expertise, and credibility on the topic. Your credibility can allow you to break taboos and have an impact on policy change. You should articulate the basis of your credibility on the topic. Any other tips? Remember, a policy paper is about addressing a specific issue with clarity. Write clearly and simply. Use short sentences, avoid jargon, eliminate theory, and include references only when necessary.